Hi! Continuing from KJoin in the previous video, we've seen that we can make an automation in the joining between floors and the walls. However, this can work only between floors and walls, and by selecting individual floors, it can be useful as, we see, as we've seen in the previous video. But I've taken a step further to think of what, what can we do to automate the process even more, or further, let's say. In this case, I have floors and columns and structural columns and walls and maybe sometimes we have ceilings and many other categories so the following procedure actually uses Revit interference check tool to determine what to join and then we run a Dynamo script to join everything together so how we do this simply go to collaborate interference check run interference check now choose columns let's say structural columns and, and walls and I want to check all these with the floors from current project and current project. Now sometimes you may use linked projects, but in this case I'm going to use the current project for my key joining. And then I'll click OK and then export and let's say I want to save it in test HTML and yes. So now we have exported an interference check file. Next go to manage Dynamo Player. And inside Dynamo Player, you can see there's something new here called KJoin Interference Check. This was not here in the previous video, so it's newly added. Click on it, and Revit will tell you what file to read from. Simply click on Test HTML and wait. Now it's done. And you can see that every every single thing has been joined together. These floors are joined with the with the columns and the structural column and the walls and each floor, not only one floor. So this automated thing can be performed anytime, uh, any place in the project. And if you even accidentally run it again, for example, and chose the same file, it will not actually give you any errors it will simply not uh, generate warnings so it's a perfectly clean tool to do or to deal with simply not a single warning has been generated so this tool can be really really helpful it can be used anytime in the project in the end of the project in the middle of, a pro of the project in the end of the session it's just as free as you want and uh, hope it is useful the installation of this is actually the same as in the installation of the KJoin. And if you have previously used the KJoin, then Dynamo should promote you for an update for it. If you want to install the KJoin, just go to Dynamo. Wait a second. Go to Packages and search for Package. And then search for... Wait a second till it syncs. and search for S-Y-N-T-H-E which is Synthesize Toolkit and download it from here click install latest version and you're gonna have it after installing it to have those nodes in here in Dino Player you may want to uh, to go for browse in this browse folder then you would like to go to C users and your username here app data roaming dynamo dynamo rivet one two three or higher packages synthesize toolkit and extra and okay so this one this has to be done once and after that it'll they'll always appear here unless you change that folder you may want to click refresh button too let us test it on, a, on the sample project in Revit. So go to open the uh, open sample files, and there you can find the RAC advanced sample project. Enter it. Now in this project, I can see, and now I can see some of the walls and some of the columns. Actually, columns are joined with the floors. But they're not joined with the ceiling. This is a ceiling. So I'm going to solve two problems here. I'm going to fix these walls with their floors 
and next I'm going to solve these columns with their ceilings. So we'll have to do a couple of steps here, collaborate, interference check, run interference check. Let's go first for ceilings with the structural columns. OK, and export. And let's say test, or let's say ceiling and columns. And next I'm going to run Dynamo Player, Interference Check, Browse for Ceiling and Columns, click on this, and wait. And it's done. Here are the column and the ceiling, and you can see all the columns and ceilings are completely joined. Now, next step, it would be joining between the walls and the floors. So, if I wanted to check the section view of this. Okay, so we're going to see, a, we're going to take a section here and see what happens and what we can see inside of this. So, basically, I can see that the walls and this wall and this floor are not getting inside together very well are not joining together the layers are not acting well so let's see how we can fix this I'm going to let me close this old one and let's say that we want to fix now the, the walls and the floors Cal collaborate interference check run interference check walls and floors you may choose roofs if you want to open and export and uh, walls and floors next dynamo player run it choose the walls and the floors and just wait a bit and we're done this is joined and this is joined and every, every floor is joined with the wall and in the section view, we can see how it is now. Control Z how it was and Control Y how it is now. So this actually works with any, any, any given project, any given situation, any kind of categories. It's just the ultimate solution for automatic joining in your project. Hope it was useful and see ya.